My name is Danny Kim. I'm the Chief Technology Officer for Full Armor Corporation. Uh, we're based out of Boston, Massachusetts, but we have locations in Seattle and Houston and uh, other parts of the, the U.S. Uh, we're mainly a developer organization that uh, creates uh, solutions for, eyes for corporate IT. So Full Armor actually creates solutions for corporate IT, for endpoint management, software distribution, endpoint configuration and management. Now what was exciting with, uh, with the advent of Windows Azure and cloud-based computing was we were able to take all of those services and move it to the cloud and really get the scale and the efficiencies that we've never been able to have before and be able to actually go after some vertical markets that we've never gone before. So emerging markets, education, public sector, to the large corporate IT environments. One of the big issues we had as a small ISV is, is how do we scale our solution? Um, we actually had some services that we're providing for these larger end corporations, but some of the things required for us to host our own so, uh, services and what cloud-based computing with Windows Azure gave us was the ability to really scale the solution out to enough just from hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands, but now to hundreds of thousands and potentially even millions of end users. And we've gone into markets that we were never ima imagined actually going into before, emerging markets in Africa to U.S. public sector markets, education, government, local, state, and uh, federal agencies, you name it. So Azure for us has become a game changer for us. One of the things that are really exciting for, for us uh, is some of the new enhancement that's coming out in Windows Azure. Um, you know, we were able to take advantage of a lot of SQL Azure services. We actually were one of the first early adopters of Azure. We actually uh, were, were one of the first commercial apps to be developed. And at the time, we had blobs and SQL tables available to us. And so we developed our whole app right on, uh, on that technology. And then as SQL Azure came on board, we were able to take advantage of a lot of the SQL uh, ex uh, the, the experiences and, and, uh, and, and skill sets that our developers had and ported a lot of our table-based uh, operations into SQL Azure. And we got a lot of scalability, a lot more uh, usability and transportability of that. And so we're very ex excited about SQL Azure. Uh, the other thing we're excited about is the app fabric and what I know that's going in beta. It was just announced at PDC today. Uh, we're very excited because that gives us the ability to take, again, the apps that we develop on the cloud or, or in a private uh, uh, local instance and be able to move it back and forth. And the ability to do that really bridges that gap between the on-premise and off-premise uh, uh, development environment. When I think about Windows Azure, the three words or three concepts that comes to mind is one, scalability. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that we're able to do now that we weren't able to do before by being able to scale our applications. Second is price performance. Uh, again, we're able to take the same services that we used to deliver to uh, a traditional corporate IT environment, but then be able to deliver at a tenth of the cost into these new markets and vertical uh, areas. Uh, and then finally, the third is the ability for our developers to scale their, their skill sets, taking it from the .NET experience and, and developer experience that they had and being able to expand that out to the cloud-based environment without having to learn a new language or a new development environment.